Hello, boys and girls. Welcome to Age of the Ring Cast. We are on Chetwood today, a classic in Chetwood. In the bottom, we've got a Misty Mountains. It is Pro Rock. Every time I've spectated him before, he's always seemed to, like, never seal the deal. He's never finished off his opponents. He strikes me as a guy who likes to wait for his tier fours and then go in. So we might be in for a long game today. And opposite, it's... It's Erebor again. It's Thena. Big buddy Thena, who plays a lot like a certain somebody who shall remain nameless. But yeah, Erebor versus Misty. I don't know if people pre-pick, but we always see this matchup. I keep getting so many replays of uh, Misty Erebor. Anyway, the Ravens came in to scale. Um, I don't know if they hung around long enough to see the fact that he's going with double mountain orc lodge. That is a strange one versus Thena. But yeah, Bats versus Ravens. And uh, Thena has gone the reign of Oakenshield, and these Lake Towners are about to get completely nutted. Uh, you know what? Screw it. We'll just we'll we'll just we'll we'll, we'll just keep with that. Um, but yeah, I mean, there's no way Slashes lose to Lake Towners. There's no way. I expect some sort of shady plays or some surprise elements coming in uh, from Thena, but his uh, pikemen are already getting to work, creeping the Warglow. Bows for the master. And obviously the great strength with Oaken Shield is uh, not the fact that they get Lake Town, is all the heroes that they can make. From Feely Keely and Bard and Master of the Lake Town and uh, all that other good stuff, so... I wonder if we'll just go for Hero Spam or if he's got another idea up his sleeve. Anyway, Forward Mine has run into Forward Builder, so they both have the same idea, which is kind of funny. And Slashes are moving up. Probably gonna get... Uh, they could probably get that mine shaft. I think that's just oh, out of fortress range. Oh, he's making a lot of archers now, so maybe they might be able to uh, take down these slashes. And both the builders on the flanks uh, completely um, uh, stifled here. Thena was actually much faster getting his forward mine shafts out, which uh, I mean usually isn't such a big deal for other factions. But if you're going to be aggressive and you want that forward tunnel placement, and you're unable to do that. I mean, look, this builder is literally just watching him make a tunnel here. I mean, how weird's that? These slashes have not done anything yet. He opted not to go for this mine shaft, which again seems like a bit of a mistake. And Thena is just going to creep a second wall glare. So more money for him. He might have actually crept a third one. Uh, is there one down here? There is. Okay, no, this one's still alive. Okay. But yeah, Pro Rock hasn't done much. He's gotten away with the double mountain orc star, but to be honest, Thena hasn't been going for his base, so. Getting away with it is subjective, I suppose. Anyway, first sign of action here, no tunnel collapse. And they're just going to quickly escape, although this mine shaft should be done and dusted. Um, I mean, at least he baited out the cave bats, because that's an annoying debuff. Anyway, slashes in behind. They do get a mine shaft on the left. And archers are going to actually hit them there. Um, maybe they run in different directions, and then one of them can shoot while the other one tanks. But yeah, there's not enough of them now, and... Yeah, they can easily finish that off. Anyway, push up the middle. Uh, the bird buff. The bird buff. Straight into Iron Hills. No spears. Look how fast these bad boys go. And the ravens are there as well to pump out the effect. Dude, the raven... Okay. The raven re production speed is so good with Men of the Lake. Oh my goodness. You saw how quickly he swarmed the map with his uh, Lake Towners. I mean, I don't think you swarm as quickly as Moria Goblins, but fortunately, Pro Rock didn't do that, so yeah. Like, Meta of the Lake are just going to swarm this map as if they were goblins. And now, just free trample, summons are free. This, but this spear's in there, who honestly gives a flying rat. And there we go. So yeah, nice, with the, with the early, um, the early Raven hero, fully upgrading just as the enemy attacked. Did half the damage, did half health to the mineshaft. That was it. That was what Pro Rock got out of that. Anyway, five points now for Thena. Instantly going to go for rebuild. He wants to save the next mine shaft that um, falls under threat. He has made some guardians to sort of trade with these mountain orcs a little bit better. Although I think slashes still beat guardians, but um, there were only spears there in that case. Anyway, another attack. There goes the rebuild. That's why he's gone for it. Maybe he was trying to bait out the the attack on the mine shaft again because this seems like a bad idea. Um, going for this one. I feel like just going for the isolated mine shafts are a lot easier. And, uh, yeah, Slash has beaten Guardians, as I thought. Anyway, Rebuild is out. Level 2 mine shaft still intact. Now, this one is a lot easier to get. There's no buildings adjacent to it to tank some of the hits. The and there we go. Mine shaft falls outside the fortress. 
It looks like Prorok is actually in the lead, but just because he's being the more aggressive doesn't necessarily mean he's winning. Uh, he needs to be cautious of how much he's uh, trading here, because obviously Mountain Orcs are a lot more expensive than Moria Goblins. You can get away with these losses with Moria Goblins, paying 100 a pop, I mean, who cares? But when you're paying 400 for your troops, yeah, you've got to be a little, a little more uh, cautious. Anyway, Spearmen have uh, managed to sneak in here, and they've clumped up. Uh, there are archers hitting them from the left, there's Spearmen hitting them from the right. Jokers to the left me, standing to the right, here I am, stuck in the middle with you. If you know that song, then, uh, hell yeah. Anyway, these forward tunnels, he lost one over here, and yeah, that one didn't have a chance. I'm not really sure per what Pro Rock is doing, but maybe he's more of like a chaotic neutral he just does things not sure why <laughs> anyway uh similar fashion i expect thing is going to try and defend this because he does have guardians and uh i mean if if he if he evacuates all and then deletes of the mine no uh, i think he maybe could have gone for that but he doesn't uh, he's he, i feel like he's in the lead he doesn't need to do that anyway if we look at the map uh Prorok is sort of doing what violence likes to do and just expand just everywhere constantly at all uh, all the time so while he's losing a lot of tunnels, and while he's not able to defend hardly any of them, um, all these mine, all these tunnels on the right hand side are giving him a lot of money. Look, there's another tunnel here. Jesus Christ! Okay, he need, this is why XDs are so important. And no spears again, and it's going to be two o, two nil for the Ram Riders. Thanks very much. Thanks for playing, and I'll see you next time. No, finish it off. Come on, tramples are free. Let's go. Man, they're so cool. I love Ram Riders. <laughs> Why can't we get permanent Ram Riders? Why? It's not fair. Anyway, Thena being Thena has managed... Actually, he he did have mines in that direction. And wait, does he have deep delving already? Oh no, Pro Rock, you're dunzo, bud. You are so dunzo. You're a dunzo Washington in training day. Yeah, you're freaking done. But yeah, there was mine shafts on the right. I think that's uh, why he sent so many troops here. But yeah, so many of these tunnels have fallen and... Dude, does this guy have ears or eyes everywhere? Because there's a... Oh, well, there was a tunnel. Wait, no, is there a tunnel here? No, it's the one little itty-bitty slasher that I'm seeing on the map. Anyway, um, he wants something more consistent than just the uh, Raven Summon. So battle wagons are coming. Deep delving with the banners suggests that heroes are on the way. So we're going to keep it on Erebor cam so we can hear them uh, when they arrive on the battlefield. Speaking of heroes, there's Urshak. You want to get him to level 3 as quickly as possible and just start one-shotting all those um, mineshafts. He ran away from that mineshaft, so he didn't get the XP. That was another odd play. I mean, they want it over here, but you want the XP on your heroes, dude. You want them big time. Alright, there's level 2. And it's strange that he's not sending spears. Alright, Balan is the first boy in the field. I didn't think it would be Balan. He's sort of like a poor man's groin. He does have some interesting abilities, like the banner of Durin he puts down is really cool. I like that a lot. Um, but yeah, I feel like he's just a poor man's groin. Um, there goes the XP buff again. No archers punishing the raven. The raven can be so annoying because its hitbox is huge. So when you're trying to maneuver armies, you can like accidentally hit your um, raven. But yeah, no archers to punish. And again, no spears. Didn't need it. Poor battle wagon. There was just too many troops there. The, the trample just completely stopped. But yeah, I mean, the free XP buffs that the Raven gives you. I mean, Jesus Christ, it's already a leg up before the battle's even started. So Balin can teleport at level 10. Oh, well, that's interesting. And there's the free summon again. Now there's a lot of troops here. There's Fell Winter to disrupt them, but still, that's not enough. And Urshak's gonna need to start thinking about his, uh his uh, getaway because I mean yeah he's going to beat Balin in a 1v1 but there's a lot of oh what the hell no there was more troops that came out the tunnel they managed to flank him the ram riders failed there was just too many slashes dude there is no way pro rock won that exchange what even with reinforcements from the tunnel oh dude when the ram riders stop and there's no spears oh that's gotta suck Okay, there we go. Two battalions. That one can that one can can go. God, could you imagine if he 
had more than one spear in there, given that the cavalry's been losing without them. Sweet Mary. Anyway, there's, um... Horn of Erebor. Balan's still alive. He's using that Dwarven Wisdom for the eco buff. I was not expecting- I didn't know like Prorok was winning, but I guess the extra- it must have been the extra reinforcements. Anyway, tunnel in the back, that's his getaway. He does have reinforcements in there. He does have Caven. Oh, on the siege works, which is going to disable it, even if it doesn't destroy it. And ball it to the defense. Dude, you're getting some epic action here. You'll love to see it. Is this Banner of Durin? It's just called Balan's Expedition. Doesn't he plant a banner, or am I thinking of a different hero? Who, pl who plants a banner? Or is that in the Adventure Faction? I don't know, but it was Balan's Expedition is what I'm thinking of. I like this one, because it heals him as well. It's like, uh... It's like, uh... Gloin's leadership and his one ability. It, it's pretty cool. Anyway, got Fimble on the field now. Let's hope that isn't money down the drain. He's already level 3 and he's summoned the wolves? Thena has made some uh, Vault Wardens who were... They will get buffed because they're near a mine shot, but that doesn't mean they're going to do anything much. Cole Fimble is dead! Never mind! Dude, what the hell is this Redevil guy on about? Dude, Cole Fimble died to Vault Wardens? No, it had to be the Archers, surely. And there's Val Vengeance. I feel like Thena is just buying every spell as soon as he gets it. He doesn't care. And Battle Wagon. The Siege Works does survive. That's got to suck. It was so close to destruction. And Vault Wardens. I mean, I didn't quite see it. But there's no... I mean, okay, I guess Vault Wardens counter it, so it's not crazy, but... I don't know. I've never seen Vault Wardens kill a hero ever. That might be the first time. Anyway, level 7 for Urshak. One more level away from Black Pit, and three more levels away from uh, the Hysteria, which is pretty fun. There's Bill, Tom, and Burt protecting the tunnel. And, um... Yeah, how Pro Rock has managed to maintain this level of just aggression amidst all the tunnels he's been losing, as well as all the goblins, has been crazy. I mean... But that, 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 like, that third Ram Rider summon, like, the fact that it didn't win that battle for him was crazy. Like, dude, I swear, there was, like, 90% slashes in there. They should have worked. Anyway, Balan versus Urshak? Balan calls his death rattle way too early. He's, like, got a third of his health there. I thought it was much lower than that. Anyway, please tell me Caven is back because you can destroy this assembly. It is not. And there's the, there's the barrel. So you can choose to fight in there. It's going to quickly burn some of your troops. Though. There's like three, four, five kills with the barrel. You'll love to see it. But they're going to stick and destroy this because this is a level 2 assembly and it does go down. He's got another one right here, but hey, you'll take your W's where you can get them. And uh, let's have a look. Ooh, we are close to tier 3. Doesn't Biltom and Burgo into the Watcher? Ooh. Now, is Thena going to send a, a little expedition lol, uh, to the front? He is... And Urshak everywhere. He does a Black Pit, which can heal his boys. You want to save that for a huge engagement. Gets another Battle Wagon. Thena, very sloppy with his Battle Wagons, which is uh, uh, a rare sight. Level 9 now. Alright, Gothimble is back. Let's hope he fares a little bit better and doesn't fall to Vault One's Lamau. That was pretty, that was pretty funny, I'll be honest. But yeah, level 9. The Hysteria with the Black Pit is going to be really cool to see. Um, like, proper Urshak value. It's been a while. And, uh, yeah, the wolf summon is just going to be annoying. <clears throat> I would wait till tier 3. I mean, he should buy it now, but he might be tempted by uh, Ruin of Angmar to get the uh, the white wolves. And Vault Wardens are on the field. Going to try and focus that Urshak, but covered by Mountain Orc archers. And, um... Worm Slides are very fast, so they can always get out of combat, but they can just... They can poke with this Flash Flame, which is kind of cool. Okay, that could be a problem. Great Goblin is on the field. We're switching back to Erebor Cam. I am Lord Dain of the Iron Hills. Oh, he pronounced it the correct way, and it sounds silly. I'm sorry, Tolkien, but Dain sounds way less cool than Dane. But yeah, Dane is on the field. He's going to level 3 assembly, which means Iron Hills and leadership. And it's going to be Dain versus Urshak. <clears throat> Excuse me, let's see, let's see, let's see, let's see, let's see. There's still not a big enough army to use Hysteria on. The main Thena army is actually... Ooh, that stops the upgrade! Lamal get wrecked! And look how much damage it does. If the level 2 assembly falls here, that could be GG for Thena. I think he's really in trouble. Dane is going to try his best here. Go Fimble. There's the rebuild. That should actually allow it to last now. Not enough troops to use uh, Rally Horn on. He's going to try a little counter-attack here. And... Great Golden's not in defense, actually. I thought that's what he'd be retreating for, but no, he's retreating for seemingly another reason. There's level 3 Iron Hills. The Ravens are here now to pump up the production speed. He wants those Iron Hills out as quickly as he can. And if you look how much health this thing has, 6,500. There's the heal and the damage. 
from Urshak. And he hasn't got level 10 yet, but he's surrounded by Vault Wardens. And, um, oh, Dane is going to run him down on his boar. Very quick thinking by Athena. No, he... Maybe that was a misclick. Maybe he didn't want to mount in the first place. But he dismounted. I think he could have actually killed Urshak had he still been mounted. Um, it's better to mount a hero. Just kidding, it's not. Anyway, go Fimble getting another mineshaft. That mineshaft must have been level 3 because he's pretty low and uh, maybe I was doing some extra damage to him. Anyway, let's see how this is going. Vault Warden's still going. There's fully under filthy. That seems like a waste, honestly. Unless he wants... No, it's not a waste. He wants the Forge Blades on the Iron Hills. He's got a plan. Forget what I said. And Thena is really having to focus elsewhere because he's autocasting a lot of Balan's abilities here. And he hasn't got time to micro everything. Anyway, level 3 tunnel does go down. And urshak has got nowhere to run. He, uh, he's a fast. He's a nimble little boy. He's fun. And a Gundabad Berserkers, I think he's going to need him if he wants to trade with these Iron Hills. He's got to be expecting Iron Hills if he saw the level 3 assembly. There's no way he's not. So yeah, Gundabad Berserkers. Uh, better late than never, please. And uh, yeah, with Fully Armed and Filthy, these heroes might actually fall for Pro Rock. And I love how wherever there's a mine, there's a tunnel as well. They've all expanded super... Uh, like, hyper-aggressively, and they've all been doing it in the same areas. So, uh, yeah, I mean, it's pretty cool to see. The right side is mostly Thena now. He's done a good job mopping all that up. There's the Freeze from Urshak. Now, the Freeze is uh, an awkward ability, but you can combo it really well with Gundabads. People don't really do that anymore, but, that, I mean, the, the strat still works. And your Black Pit is back. And there's Fully Armed and Filthy. He did use it while they were frozen. There's Forged Blades. And Dyn is with there as well, so they have the um, leadership from him that's bonus damage and armor. And he's got this slam as well from Vanilla Biff me. Now, does this cancel leadership still? It does. Nice. So that will counter Great Goblin pretty well. And he's invested a lot here, so he needs to be careful about his attacks. That's probably why he's stopped for a bit. The Vow of Vengeance might have been a mistake, because obviously Prorox just e e uh, able to retreat out of it. There's a nice clump there. And did Urshak... We, we, I mean, he, Prorok needs Urshak to hit level 10. I don't actually see where Urshak is now. There's Urshak. Yeah, he needs him to hit level 10 now, because the Hysteria could basically win this for him. Urshak Hysteria is uh, ridiculously strong. Oh, beautiful! Cut off by the Watcher! There's Black Pit for the emergency heal. Oh, no! They were all clumped in this tiny little crevice there. And Great Golden just killed them all in one shot. Balan is totally fucked. Dane mounting his ball, getting the fuck out of dodge. And this one itty bitty Iron Hill guy is uh, running. And uh, Balan is actually in there, right? No, but did Balan get away? No, there's Balan. He's heading to a mineshaft in the east. Ah, protected by the mighty Worm Slayers. Oh, he's got troops here as well. Does he have his armor now? Because a lot of the troops are... Where's his armor? I don't know, maybe he has one. But uh, a lot of troops have Forge Blades now. And still no level 10, so close. Balan leading the charge, that might be a mistake. And dismounted again. Dude, look at look at Dane's attack speed. He's like Glo he's like Gimli. Freaking hell. Anyway, Bolt Summon Burst gonna be super annoying. There's the Wolf Summon, there's Frozen Waste, there's everything. Balan has fallen. I think the archers on top of the hill actually killed him. Shot in the back. There's Hysteria now. Now we'll really get to see. The Dane slam has gone in there. Yeah, all these guys are just gonna be damaging each other. Dane is pulling out. Although, they look, see how good the Hysteria is? Even the crossbowmen were hitting Dane up there. And they're just going to be killing each other. There's level 10 Urshak. That's why I wanted it. And that's why he's the king. A decent replacement for Gorkil, I suppose. An acceptable replacement. And Great Goblin leveling up pretty slowly. But yeah, that was a win for Prorok. The Hysteria. I don't think he's going to rely on that ag again. But still, got a hero kill, got a lot of Iron Hills kills as well. And, uh, yeah, Dane should be able to get out. Oh, there's the reinforcements. Again with Forge Blades. Uh, look, look at this damage. Oh, he didn't stick around to find that. Never mind, there'll be no damage that day. There's one of Erebor. He's going to keep fighting. Dude, he needs the Raven Summon because these archers are getting away with murder. Oh, no, Uzba Duel. Oh, with Forge Blades. Shit. Oh shit, this is where you need trolls. This is where you need massive monster units. Bats ain't gonna cut it. I think snow trolls could do it. 
Um, but yeah, Gundabad's as well. He's gonna have to mix it up. There's no way these slashes, even with all the leadership and all the Urshak abilities. There's the cavalry. That's what I was talking about to destroy the archers. Great Goblin will be able to get away. Urshak too, because they're quite nimble. He freezes the back line. And the knotted strings, I mean, if he... That will counter Gundabad berserkers. So I think he just keeps these slashes maybe and then goes for trolls. But... Yeah, his base, he doesn't have any other different buildings. No troll lairs. And I think Dane is going to push to victory here. Maybe a Balrog will counter that. We're getting close. Uh, no tier 3. Ah, there it is. Undermine for extra leadership. Oh, Unless Thena still thinks it, dis it weakens structures. <laughs> it does not. If only Reign of Oakenshield got Hadhod. Wouldn't that be great? Anyway, he's going for it. Undermine on the Undermine, which is kind of funny. And Forge Blades plus Uzbadur plus Leadership equals the Fortress is going to go down. And yeah, Wolf Summon have fun with that. Goldfin will charge into Forge Blade Spears. Yeah, that, that, that'll do it. That'll do it. And uh, Battle Wagon's just screening at this point. No rebuild for the for uh, Misty. And Dane, give the boy a, give the boy his Relentless Assault, please. Let a brother nullify Leadership. Let a brother do it. He's going to level up from the fort. There it is. There's Relentless Assault. And a nice push. I like Prorock's strat, but he didn't vary it up. He kept doing the same one-dimensional thing. Didn't even have a chance to get Muzgash on the field. Opted for Golfimble, I guess in hindsight. Seemed like a bit of a mistake. And the last bastion of uh, Goblin Strength has just been undone now. Oh wait, Black Pit is still on the field. There's an extra summon. The Goblins aren't finished yet. Dane is surrounded. There's a barrel, very nice. And I think Uzbadul actually, I think the last Uzbadul fell to Goblin Towners. Oh no, there's still one more Uzbadul there. Oh, Mineshaft in the back to instantly bring in reinforcements with the heroic statue. Yes, yes, Thena, yes, you didn't need heroic statue at all. There's Durin's Day for the heal slash stun. You didn't need the heroic statue, but you love it. Oh man, see that that's what okay. I need to start doing that when I'm like on the front foot is bringing up the builders and building mine shafts right outside their base. Because I mean I mean look, he's immediately able to bring in reinforcements. Hysteria isn't doing anything this time. He's put them all in hold ground stance. And um yeah, Urshak's Hysteria has actually done nothing there, which is uh, surprising. Anyway, Bog's Bodyguard, he's really going to make Thena work for it at the end here. And I think he, I mean, he might have tier 4 by now, but, I mean, yeah, he would have, but the, the fortress is gone. Wait, no, we can't see Urshak fall. Oh, no, Urshak's still on the field. Still on the field, the heroes are still going. There is Dane, level 7. Will we see Ram Riders? I do hope so. Bog's Bodyguard do fall to the Mighty Worm Slayers. And there's Immolation. Why do I love it? Because it uses vanilla sound by Great Goblin does fall, kicked in the gonads. And now surely, surely Urshak falls. Now he fights to the death, surely. Iron Hells are ignoring him for now. Go for one Mountain Orc. Oh, go for the tunnel, actually. And come on, focus him. One little thrust can do it. Bruh, Black Pit is so cool. Alright, Urshak's gonna settle for a builder kill. Fine, why not? There goes one Mountain Orc Lodge. And uh, this should be the last building here. Urshak, he's not, he's gonna, he's gonna give him mercy. He actually survived. He only died because the final building went down. <laughs> it was like, uh, what do they call it? A professional courtesy or whatever. It's like, yeah, Yo, you fought well, you get to survive. Anyway, that was an awesome game. It started a little slow. Um, I was kind of worried that Prorock was uh, feeding a bit too hard, but yeah, no, that, that really heated up. I think when Balin lost that battle on the left-hand side was when it really heated up. Um, but yeah, I mean, if I see Thena in the name, uh, yeah, I will cast it because I love watching him. Anyway, I hope you guys all enjoy. Like, comment, subscribe, all that jazz, all that good stuff. I'll see you next time. <gasps> Goodbye.